But let's talk about Helen Stewart. We're in Bad Girls. Can you believe? Nearly 10 years. I cannot believe Since you started. 10 years. Oh, God, no wonder I've got more wrinkles now. <laughs> yeah, 10 years, my goodness. And it feels like it's still very much part of my life. Are you proud of being part of something very so proud, Very proud. I, I think they did a great job in the writing. I think, um, I imagine anyone, one of the reasons that um, so many women especially responded to Bad Girls is that they really explored a lot of women's issues and, you know, a, a lot of women's issues that were slightly taboo. The, the Helen and Nikki storyline I think was the longest explored uh, lesbian relationship on TV. You know, it really did take that long, you know, um, journey together. You you saw them and um, you know got their the relationship go through many um, ups and downs. You were the the governor mm. falling for an inmate, and so it wasn't it wasn't only taboo because it was two women, but it was also that you know, the bar separated you as well. So it had that marvelous tension. It did, yeah, um, yeah. It, it it meant, funnily enough, you know, the uh, a question that's been asked of me recently was, you know, about all the non-verbal communication that these two characters had, you know, um, you know, which is something that you, you know, you, that the actors are, I think find very enjoyable to explore, you know, when it's not there, it's on, on the page but not necessarily in the dialogue and, you know, you can, you know, work a lot of um, what you're feeling through looks or your behaviour or gestures or, um, and, you know, some of those you know, communications were the only way that they could have honest communication because they weren't able to to um, show things in that environment. The main thing is to understand the script and the characters and we you know spent as much time as we could um, in a dressing room or whatever you know and just talking through um, the scripts as they turned up and you know what we thought the characters were feeling and then um, again you know because it was over three years we worked together a lot and you build up a trust and you know a shorthand with one another and we worked together really easily and I think that chemistry translated on the screen. Yeah. Well you still top the poll apparently, I just saw on the internet the other day, Is that the top right? lesbian couple of all oh, time. Isn't that great? I mean there's so many internet websites devoted to you as a couple and fan fiction it's incredible, isn't it? and in America it's just been shown on Logo and it's all starting up there as well. It's you know. just, honestly, I, I, neither of us could have imagined, you know, what what was to you know come from this at all you know it's just been it's been mind-blowing some of the letters that I've received you know just women you know describing their experiences and how you know they've been through something similar one of the other inmates had you know miscarriage or whatever and how you know watching the program it just helped a lot of people come to terms with things that they had gone through themselves you know Mm. Um, I mean, and I think that's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, do you feel proud that, you know, a lot of people have come to terms with their own sexuality having watched the programme and, and your character? Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it seems that way, definitely. I've had a lot of w women describe exactly that, yeah. What do you think is so magical about the Helen and Nikki storyline? I think, you know, any um, storyline that has, you know, a a problem to work through, you know, something that stops them realizing their their love for one another, you know. Um, and they had they, it wasn't just the bars; it was it was Helen Stewart's um, confusion and struggle, inner struggle, um, coming to terms with all these new feelings. Um, she didn't want to go that path, you know, it was really, she, she, she wanted to be in control and she wanted to stay with her plan and, you know, she had it mapped out, she wanted to get married, she wanted to, you know, progress in her job, she wanted to have children and all this and, you know, suddenly there was all these feelings and this heat towards, you know, a woman and um, she, she had a lot of struggle with that. Possibly because she had all those struggles, it, 
it brought her to a point where she began to fight for the relationship and um, that helped bring them together. And, and coming together after she booted Thomas War into touch um, was a very dramatic thing on television. You know, everyone was waiting. You know, everyone wanted them to be together. It was quite uh, an emotional thing. Was that nervous for you doing that final scene, knowing everyone was wanting to see you get together? No, it was it was wonderful to do that scene because um, I imagined as a viewer that um, you wanted a happy ending for this these two people. You know, you wanted that so much and I was really pleased that they had that in the end yeah it was one of one of my dis you know it was partly why I decided to go with a third series you know because at one point I was wondering to whether you know whether to move on or what to do and I thought no I've got to I've got to stick with this and finish the story and you know when we we spoke together with Shed and they said that you know that's what their plan was it was like yeah I have to see it through to the end. Is, is Helen Stewart one of your most favorite characters that you've played? because it was fully worked through. Exactly, exactly, yeah, definitely. When, when you play a character that you've, you've played for a long time and you've explored a lot of things and you've been through a lot of things with them, you know, the, you uh, draw on lots of areas of yourself and they become part of you, you know, and um, she's never really gone away, you know, and we're still speaking about, you know, that. Do you have a bossy side then? I do have a bossy side, yeah, um, and it's something that I, you know, try not to uh, let out, you know, it's like my husband said, you know, it's sometimes it's like having two alpha males in the house, you know, so <laughs> not good. And, and do you often go to him, sit in that chair? <laughs> <laughs> sit in that chair, eat your dinner, shut up. Your nice suit. <laughs> <laughs> this has gone down into the history. No, you wouldn't let me you... speak to him like that, believe me, no. <laughs> I suppose that's probably why I married an Italian, yeah, someone that, you know. And, you know, where do you think Helen and Nikki are now? Do you think they're still together ten years off? There's a question. Um, let's, it's nice to think that they are, yeah. That they've gone somewhere abroad and running a bar on a beach somewhere and, you know. Had a family? Had a family, mm, that I'm not sure about, not so sure about. If they wanted to sort of bring it back, would you yeah. do a sort of another series, 10 years on? Um, I've been asked that a few times over the years and um, I certainly wouldn't be opposed to doing that, you know, it, I, you know, if we sat down and, you know, really thought it through. The thing is, because there's so much expectation about that, you know, you wouldn't want to get it wrong. Um, so if it was well devised and, uh, you know, Mandana was happy to do it as well, then yeah, possibly. Yeah, Watch Helen is sure a little bit more wrinkly, but <laughs> and I, oh, oh, I don't like them anymore. <laughs> Put your clothes back on. <laughs> oh, I want to see you on the beach with your bikinis now. <laughs> and, and are you still in touch with Mandana? I haven't spoken to Mandana for a while. I know that she's busy. She, she's got a, a little one around about the same age as me. So um, my uh, daughter, I think she you has a son. You have about a few months apart. You were yeah, apparently, yeah. Um, I think you just, boy. she has got a little boy, yeah. Um, I think, you know, it's something that happens. You, you, you know, your life sometimes goes in different directions, you know. Um, but I'm very fond of Madonna. She's, you know, a lovely woman. And very bright and very entertaining. And, you know, I wish her, I wish her well. I just got to talk to you about Fenner. He in real life is just so naughty. He's just such, such good fun. Um, yeah, he's... Um, He's definitely an actor that still has a great hold of, you know, his inner child and uh, that would come and play on set quite often. <laughs> I made some really good friends from, um, from Bad Girls and, you know, we stayed in touch a long time. Now that, you know, children have come along, you, you do kind of see people less, but um, yeah, we had a lot of fun on that and it was, it was an interesting dy dynamic to have so many women on set. It was indoors a lot of the time, and so you know, lighting was nice, and you know, you didn't have that thing that you have in *Why in the Blood*, where you're outside and your muscles are all frozen, <laughs> and the lighting's catching every you know bad angle of your face. You know, we looked a lot prettier. We were ten years younger then as well, which helped. 